Let's talk about five videos that every realtor should be creating that will generate you leads for years to come. I know that that sounds crazy, but ultimately as an agent, all too many are not creating leverage within their business and thus why they're struggling to keep their pipeline full. So if your pipeline is empty, this is going to create leverage where you can do an activity today. And essentially these videos are like door knocking and cold calling 24 seven, 365 for years to come. And this is how you start to build a scalable real estate business where you create massive leverage based on evergreen content like the five that I'm going to walk you through and explain in this very video. All right, now, before we get started, if you do want to know how to leverage AI and ChatGPT to create content at scale that's going to rank number one in your local market and perform, then just drop a comment below or click the link in the description and let me know what your biggest takeaway was from this video and I'll send you my free training and that's gonna walk you through in 60 minutes exactly what you need to do this year in order to create highly engaged content that will rank as well in your market so that if you're gonna spend the time recording content, you also wanna make sure that it performs. Now, the first video that I wanna dive into is going to be community tours. Now, I think it's pretty self-explanatory as to why these videos are pillar pieces of content that will generate you business for years to come because in most cases, a community is not disappearing in years to come. And so if you do a proper community tour, like I'll maybe post an example of an agent in the description as well, Peter Tulin living in Ottawa, who does really good community tours so that you could see a bit of an example of this. But if you do a proper community tour, whether people are looking to move there this year, next year, in five years, as long as you do it properly, then that video is gonna to continue to bring you business, generate views and thus leads in years to come. Now, when you're doing a community tour, you want to include a couple key pieces of information so that it is valuable, it is engaging, and it is going to make sure that you generate leads. Now, some of the information that you want to include in a proper community tour is going to be styles of homes, average price points, amenities, lifestyle, based on your experience of what it's like to live there or talking to somebody that has lived there, the pros and cons of that community and why people should consider it. And if you do a video like that, you only really have to do it once unless a major change happens or a major development happens. And that's why it's so important to make it a goal of yours to do a community tour of every single community you would like to farm or like to break into, whether it's luxury, whether it's just a desirable one or one that you live in yourself, community tours are one of the best lead generation videos that also thankfully generate you leads for years to come. Now that goes on to number two and number two is going to be a city tour similar to community tours. Your city's not disappearing anytime soon. And so when you do a city tour, there's a number of key pieces of information that you should also be including in this video that will make sure that it is relevant, it is going to generate you business, and it is going to be value driven so that people see you as the market expert. Now, there's going to be some things related to just local lifestyle, but there's also some things related to real estate. So when you're doing a, a city tour, one of the things I encourage you to include is going to be doing a map tour. And you could just pull up Google Maps on Google, share your screen using a platform like Loom, and walk through the different areas of your market center and talk about some of your favorite areas, some of the most in-demand areas, areas where people invest, areas my people want to consider, and also the areas where different activities happen, whether it be the centralized downtown hub, or maybe there's a lake nearby, or something else of interest that people continue to go to. Now, the other things that you want to include that are going to be exceptionally important in a city tour is things like transit, transportation, right? Public transportation is a really big interest for a lot of people looking to move to that market. General information on cost of living, a bit of a tour of what the downtown area looks like and some of the hottest spots that most people kind of gravitate to. And also talking about some of the key amenities or I guess, touristy things that people might want to take interest in if they're visiting there or exploring living there. For me in Calgary, at least, typically a city tour would include information about Banff and Lake Louise and proximity to the mountains. Also the inner city kind of vibrant, lush haven of Princess Island Park, where you can kind of feel like you're in nature, but you're two minutes from downtown. 
And so a city tour is gonna be one of the best videos because if somebody's looking to move to your market, they're usually researching that market. And if you optimize your video properly, like my free training shows you how to do, then you've got a tour that's gonna be generating you a ton of relocation business from people that are considering moving there in years to come. Now, video number three is an interesting one and also incredibly important, which is going to be market comparisons. Now, this is always in demand for years to come because again, typically when people are deciding whether to move to one market or another, not a whole lot changes from year to year as to the pros and cons of one market and the pros and cons of another. So let me give you a couple of examples Examples, one for Canada and then one for the United States. If we start with the United States, this could be a video, for example, of Miami versus Orlando or Miami versus Tampa and talking about the pros and cons of each. And obviously, if you live in, for example, Tampa, you kind of want to sway people toward Tampa and talk about the benefits of that versus Miami. Now, if you're in Canada, you might want to be talking about Calgary versus Edmonton. And if you live in Calgary like I do, you're probably going to talk a little negative about the Oilers and kind of veer and steer people over here to Calgary and talk about some of the benefits of being one of the sunniest cities in Canada, the proximity to the mountains, the fact that it's won the award for being the cleanest city in the world for multiple consecutive years and different things like that. But again, these are really good because oftentimes people that are relocating are weighing out competing markets. And if you do a video explaining those two markets, that is one of the best lead generation videos for relocation buyers. But that leads to video number four, which is going to be very similar, just honing a little bit and driving a little bit deeper and going to the community level. And so we talked about the market comparisons of your market versus a competing market, but also community comparisons, because for example, me and my city, you've got a lake community like Mahogany and a lake community like Auburn Bay. Oftentimes people are deciding between those two communities, do they want to spend a little bit more and live in mahogany or do they want to save a little bit more and based on their perspective, get something maybe similar in Auburn Bay. So based on the fact that you're the market expert and you are aware of where buyers are contemplating, whether it be a quadrant in your city versus another, a community versus another, anything you know people are deciding between based on a little bit more of a niche level is going to be really good for years to come as well. And again, you typically just want to explain pros and cons and veer it toward the one that you kind of want to work in a little bit more than the other. Now, number five is going to be one that I've talked about a little bit here and there, but it's going to have a bit of a caveat. So let me explain this. It's going to be pillar relocation content, not all relocation content, pillar relocation content. Let me explain. Relocation videos can include things like cost of living. That's one of the best videos that you should do, but you have to update that video every single year based on interest rates, based on inflation, based on the economy, based on politics, based on all kinds of different variables. So that very similar to real estate market updates, which have to be done on a monthly basis, cost of living has to be done on an annual basis. And there's many videos that do have to be updated annually based on changes that happen in the economic climate to the real estate market. But there's usually always going to be a couple pillar relocation videos that are always going to be relevant. This is going to be things like reasons, five reasons to move to your city or four reasons not to move to your city, what it's like to live in this market center, things like that. And those videos that are highly searched, especially if you're in an area that has any level of tourism, like Calgary, where I live, has Banff and Lake Louise, which is on the postcards of everything and the beautiful aqua teal blue water that looks like it's edited, but it's not. It's stunning. And a lot of people come to Calgary to drive to Banff and whether it's in the summer to go on the lake or in the winter to go to the mountains and ski and snowboard. But that's always going to be the case. People are always going to come here and for those reasons. So if you do videos about the top five things to do when in Calgary, that doesn't change really too much from year to year. And that's why it's one of those pillar videos that you can do once and will continue to generate you leads for years to come. If you're in a market that's very uh, 
a tourist based, maybe based on beaches, the top five beaches, the top five sunset locations, right? It doesn't have to be five and you could use chat GPD and just say, Hey, please create me a video of the top five beaches in Hawaii or the top five sunset locations in Oahu. Well, it's going to be pretty easy to create that video and it's going to spit out the answer in about 30 seconds uh, and give you the entire script as well. So there's a lot of ways to create efficiencies here, but I just want to make sure that as an agent, you're creating leverage of your time and you're not doing activities that only get you business when you're spending time doing that activity. Yes, it's important to cold call, to door knock, to prospect for immediate business. But when you want to keep your pipeline full and scale years to come, but also get your time back, it's really important for you to start to create content that is going to create more leverage of your time and thus help you scale your business in less time with less money. So if you have any questions, just drop a comment below. We do respond to 100% of them. And if you got any value from this, again, please just subscribe. It helps me a ton and smash that like button to let me know that this is a video that you like and you want more like it.